In this video, I'll show you how to permanently add a progress bar to your videos when banning in subtitles in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, in Subtitle Edit, I believe 3.6.3 and in the other versions of Subtitle Edit 3.6.4, ASS styles were introduced that allow us to add progress bar to our videos. And you'll normally see this with social media videos. But one thing that I've noticed is that with Subtitle Edit 3.6.4, the stable release, there is an issue and I'll show you. If I click on open video file, just go to a video file that I have subtitles to, go to file, open keep video, let's look for subtitles, click on open. Uh, if you just change the format from SRT to ASS and then right click on any subtitle line, ASS, ASSA tools, generate progress bar, you'll notice that the progress bar is on uh, even when the time is at zero, zero, zero. So this is quite problematic because normally progress bar in social media videos or in videos where you want to show how long a video is begin uh, off screen. So this uh, I believe has been rectified in beta releases. So we're going to look at a beta release. So let's just cancel this. No, we don't want to save that and I've already downloaded uh, a beta version of subtitle edit uh, that has been released recently. We are in December of 2021 and I believe I do have a tutorial on how to download and use subtitle edit beta uh, because uh, two things you need to do. You'll need to download uh, the MPV library so that you can play using that particular player and also you need uh, to download FFmpeg. So if I just double click on this particular uh, beta release, uh, it's going to open up and the way you download those uh, MPV lib is going by two options, settings, video player, and then download MPV lib. As for uh, the FFmpeg, down you go to the waveform, download FFmpeg, but I already have them installed, uh, downloaded and installed. So I'll just go to video, open video file, and then select the video I want, and then click on open. Once I do this, uh, what we need to do next is just go to file, open keep video, and then uh, find a subtitle we want to use. That is, we want to ban the subtitle to the video. Uh, so we just click on open. For us to have a progress bar uh, for our videos, what we need to do is we need to convert the format from subrip, that is SRT, to ASS, Advanced Substation Alpha Subtitles. Let's click on that. And once you do that, all we need to do is just right click ASSA tools, generate progress bar. And once we click on that, we're going to get different options, uh, customization options. If we look at our progress bar down here, because it's at the bottom, there's nothing showing because it's at zero, zero. If I click down the line, you'll notice there's a yellow uh, bar moving across. It keeps going. It's what we have selected as the color here. So, we are going in the right direction because now we have solved that issue with a better release. Uh, so on your left, you can change the position from bottom to top so that uh, your particular progress bar is at the top. Really depends on what you're working with for your uh, subtitles or for your progress bar or for whatever videos you're creating. So let's uh, stick to the bottom section. Let's leave the colors as is. You can also change the style from square corners to rounded corners really depends on what you're looking forward to but let us assume we're done making the edits that we want to make we have a progress bar to our videos just click on ok and once we click on ok you'll notice that there's a bar down here and if i click down you'll notice that the bar or the sub uh the progress bar is showing uh it's just navigating slowly uh so one thing you can uh, work on is uh, potentially uh, your subtitles. For example, you'll notice that the subtitles seem to be uh, lying on top of the progress bar. So you can decide to change these to uh, go to ASS. Let's say we go to a top position so that there's no uh, conflict between the sub yeah. So we have the progress bar up here and the subtitles down here so that people can know how long your video is and how long it is going to take them to finish watching your videos. Uh, so I forgot to click or generate the waveform, but that's not an issue. There we have it. But we have our progress bar now. 
once we have our progress bar all we need to do is now ban in our subtitles plus the progress bar to a video it's pretty simple inside subtitle edit just come to video generate video with banned in subs uh, well we need to download ffmpeg again there's no issue about that let's just wait for it uh, but basically when using beta you have to keep downloading these different releases uh, but what subtitle edit has done is if you're creating social media videos and we know social media videos nowadays have subtitles because people are probably watching uh, the video on, on social media and uh, most social media platforms have sound turned off then a progress bar will show people how long the video is or and the subtitles will help people read along even when the, uh, the sound is turned off so here we go we have everything ready we've not set uh, the uh, subtitle style that we want or anything of that sort I just wanted to show you how to add a progress bar uh, so once we are ready all we need to do is we just need to click on generate and then we can say we can just add something here progress bar let's click on save and it's going to start uh, burning in our subtitles and our progress bar to a video now let's just give it a couple of seconds and then we're going to review and see what results are we going to get is it something that we can use i believe just from the preview here this is something that we can use just set whatever color you want that works with your branding uh, until you get it uh, right and then ban subtitles have a progress bar and more so for social media videos so let's just give it a couple of seconds and then we just do a quick preview uh, let's just click on open containing folder here we go these are file I'll just double click on it and it's going to open inside our VLC I'll pause it a little bit and you'll notice there's a bar here and if we play with the recent update on the YouTube interface it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts uh, you'll notice the yellow uh, progress bar moving as uh, the video moves along so that is how you can add a progress bar and burn in the progress bar to your videos plus subtitles in subtitle edit thanks for watching i hope this video is of value to you until next time stay safe and never stop learning